You guys remember how during Dratini Community Day, Gimme Ghoul came to Pokemon Go? But not really, because all it did is follow you around and you couldn't catch it. Well, is it officially time to actually be able to catch Gimme Ghoul in Pokemon Go? Today I'm going to be breaking down how to get Gimme Ghoul and Goldengo, its evolution, because it's all now available in-game. You can get it right now. Let me explain. So first of all, you're going to need a Nintendo Switch and Scarlet and Violet to do this. So that already is going to cost you probably, you know, a decent chunk of money. So if you don't have that, you can borrow your friends, but if you don't have any way of getting a Switch and a copy of Scarlet or Violet, not much you can do here you're gonna have to wait till it's released for everybody now on screen i'm gonna put how to do it following the proper instructions on screen first you're gonna go into your nintendo switch make sure your scarlet and violet game is updated and you're gonna want to go into pokey portal go to the bottom go to mystery gift and then go to connect to pokemon go in there at the bottom you're gonna pair a new account and then in pokemon go you're gonna jump over into your settings to the bottom and go to connect to a nintendo switch click that button and you should be able to pair your account to that nintendo switch i'm not sure if it's one person per her Nintendo Switch account, like it has something to do with the software and it knows if it's a different account. So if your friend already connected, it doesn't work, etc. So someone can test that. But right now I went ahead and connected my account. Okay, once you're paired, you're gonna wanna come into here, go into your postcard book, choose a postcard you want to send, and then click send to Nintendo Switch and click send. On the Nintendo Switch side of things, make sure you click the connect to Pokemon Go and have that running. Then you wanna go click yes, do you wanna send? Are you sure you wanna send while connecting? Uh, don't turn off the smartphone, etc. And then here's gonna go ahead. It's gonna search for Nintendo Switch while the uh, Switch is searching for a um, phone. There you go, sending postcard is gonna go ahead and work. A little animation on both, um, a little postcard sent, and then in game, you're going to see a little box open and that should give you Vivalins. I'm not sure what you get in Scarlet and Violet, but no one really cares about Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Just kidding, it's actually a fun game. But in Pokemon Go, we're gonna get a, the coin bag. Open the coin bag in your item bag to get a mysterious effect. Let's go check it out. So in here under the trainer boost, we're gonna see a coin bag. We can go ahead and use it, click open and it pretty much just works exactly like a melting box. So we can go ahead and refresh here. Now, I don't really know if it's gonna work for me just because I did hear that um, Gimme Ghoul might not be pushed yet, so it might be broken. It also might be a fact that I am not moving. So I'm gonna go run out and see if I can get one. If it doesn't work, then it might just be glitched because it's very early on. But this technically should be spawning Gimme Ghouls, just to know, 30 minutes of Gimme Ghouls. I'll be right back. Okay, so after further investigation, I walked down the street in my shorts trying to find this to work, but it seems Gimme Ghoul is glitched and it's spawning like many, 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 I don't know if you can see, on unclickable forms of Gimme Ghoul. I, now I've heard that the auto catchers can still catch these forms, but yes, Gimme Ghoul is glitched. So unless you have an auto catcher and want to risk catching on auto catchers, hold off to use your coin bag until they fix the glitch, which I will update you guys in the pinned comments when that is glitched. Obviously, new feature Pokemon Go, not without a glitch. Nonetheless though, that is pretty much how you catch Gimme Ghoul. It's that simple. You send a postcard. You can send one postcard per day, which means you can get one of these coin bags per day. You also can only send each postcard once. So if I spend a send a specific postcard, I can't send that one again the next day. Postcards you send will remain in your postcard book, so don't worry about that. And of course, they will reset at midnight, in which you can send another. Oh yeah, look there, my auto catcher just caught one. I uh, I can't. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, it's definitely very bugged because as you can see, it's telling me I can evolve it into a Swalot. Yeah, okay, this, okay. Once that gets fixed and Gimme Ghoul is normally caught up catchable in Pokemon Go, how do we evolve it into Goldengo? Now to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Goldengo, it's gonna take you 999 of those golden coins. So it's gonna be like those evolution stones, but you need 999 of the coins. You'll get these Gimme Ghoul coins by number one, catching Gimme Ghouls in the roaming form. So obviously using that little um, coin bag to get them to spawn or adventuring with it as your buddy so walking it with it as your buddy like normal to get candies but instead you're getting coins you can also get them from the golden pokestops remember the golden pokestops are coming back for the next 24 hours pokestops may turn gold and of course spinning the golden pokestops can get you the gimme ghoul coins and they can also get you more items than normal you guys remember dratini community Day? it's the same thing it's gonna be exclusive for the next 24 hours so you can collect those coins remember you need 999 to make that evolution into goldenga there also might be future events where pokestops turn gold but for now the next 24 hours you can get gold pokestops however there's another Another way to turn a Pokestop gold, and that's gonna be with the new Golden Lure module. If you send multiple postcards to Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, so I'm guessing, you know, once in a while after you've sent maybe three, four, five, or whatever, just make sure you send one every day, really, you can get a Golden Lure module. Golden Lure modules will pretty much turn a Pokestop gold. I believe it's gonna be for the next 30 minutes, like regular Pokestops. And of course, those Golden Stops, you can spend to get Gimme Ghoul coins. Also, off those Golden Pokestops, you can actually find Gimme Ghouls. So it's pretty much gonna be like a Golden Pokestop is a lure for Gimme Ghouls, 
as well as the coin bag. Those are the ways you encounter them. Final thing I'll mention in the shop, there is a gold box you can get right now. Nine free Gimme Gold coins. You can go ahead and collect that very simply, which is great. And then now you have, you know, nine more towards your 999 you need. And you can hold up to 9,999 Gimme Gold coins. And I do not believe they take space in your storage. With that being said, I think I've covered most of it. That is how you get Goldengo. Again, you need a switch, send a postcard once per day. It's pretty much similar to a melting box. You open the melting box, you can get the Gimme Ghouls, you spawn them, you catch them, you get the 999 coins and you get Goldengo. Finally, that brings us into the last section and it's gonna be Goldengo, is it good in Pokemon Go? Goldengo is gonna be a steel ghost type Pokemon. It's gonna have an HP stat of 202, attack of 252 and defense of 190. For fast moves, it can learn Astonish and Hex and for charge moves, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam and Focus Blast. I believe this is actually our first Paldean Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Now, Goldengo is actually not gonna be a bad ghost type raid attacker. It's going to be ranked overall at number two non-mega behind Garatina origin form running hex and shadow ball then in terms of damage per second you're going to be looking at it ranked number five behind shadow Bennett, gengar chandler shadow miss magnus and gold dango so all around honestly not a bad ghost type raid attacker obviously Garatina origin is going to be much stronger and chandler as well but not bad there now in terms of pvp i don't see it being as good running hex shadow ball dazzling gleam i could see this thing have some play in the mash league since steel types do pretty well there as well as it being a ghost type it can handle mew too but i will link below yonkis's video breaking it down in which he goes into depth on how good it could be in pvp he does much better breakdowns so yeah guys that is pretty much it that is how you get gimme ghoul and goldango in pokemon go hope you guys are excited for the new season more videos about all of that coming soon today and follow for tips thanks